Day 20 and 21, there were mixed results. Uh, day 20 actually looked like the day I thought I was going to get out of the little slump that I've been in the last week. So the first half of the day, I played really well and was up plus five buy-ins, but then the afternoon session and the night session did not go too well. I actually ended up having a negative nine buy-in session, and honestly, I don't think I played that well during that session, so probably deservedly uh, down for the day. That being said, day 21 was really good, managed to get myself out of a hole. Uh, day 21 was actually the inverse of day 20. Um, the day started really poorly, but then the back end of the day, the afternoon and the night session carried me into a positive result for the day, which was good. Now, hopefully the momentum continues into the next couple of days. Okay, so looking at the hands, we have ace, queen of spades facing a three bet from the small blind. We obviously defend with the pseudo variant. We flop an ace with a backdoor flush draw, and it seems like we could either just go broke against the ace king component of range. Uh, we do pick up the turn flush draw, which is great. Player three continues to fire on this turn. Uh, I think just flatting here does best. Player three does bet. We call and hoping to see a spade. We do see a spade, and it's a king. It actually reduces the number of ace king com combos that player three has. However, we do get the jam and we do win against the other ace queen. Next time we have queens, we open from middle position. Uh, we get flattered by cutoff and button. Uh, multi way spot. Um, uh, you can do a mixed strategy here. I mean, I was thinking about betting, I was thinking about checking. I was thinking if player four bets, I'm just going to check raise, get it in. Um, it plays well against the fish. Uh, yes, we do have a Queen of Hearts, uh, which does block some flush draw combos that they could just bet jam here with. That being said, I think they might just call off once here with like 8, 7s or any sort of pet pocket pair that they're betting here. Uh, even 9x and we will get it in on turn. Uh, hopefully no scare cut on turn. But they do get it in on the flop and we are up against 10s. And unfortunately we do get 2 outed. Next so hand we have threes, blind versus blind. Uh, we flop middle set on deuce three four. Uh, against someone who's just potting flops that are not good for their range, I think I'm just going to let them hang themselves. Uh, yes, we probably want to deny some equity, but that being said, I just think this villain is just going to spaz out too often with these bet sizes. Uh, when villain checks the river, I actually expect to player one to fold here when I do jam, um, but we will just jam here just in case they do have some sort of calling range, which I don't expect. Fortunately, this time we, they do have a calling range and they show us aces. So next time we have eights, we flattered the under the gun min raise open and then we get squeezed. Uh, once player four calls, pretty easy call in position to flop a set. Pretty terrible board and you're probably wondering how this is in the highlights right now. Uh, it checks around, and of course, we bink the set on turn. Uh, player two checks again, so I mean, I think at this point, player two doesn't have any traps, so I think I've got the best hand here a lot. I do go for the bet, uh, would bet here with Jack X and Diamond Diamond, so I do have some bluffs. Uh, player two jams, obviously not folding, um, and player two, two does show us ace king. So next time we have jacks, we three bet under the gun. Uh, under the gun uses a pot size open, which generally means it's going to be stronger. I do go for the two thirds bet size. I am not super thrilled about getting jacks in here against player six's range. I think player six will still be flatting queens um, under the gun. That being said, they should have tens and eights and potentially ace king, ace queen. Um, and yeah, so I guess against that range, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, if they do have queens, it's unfortunate. If they have a set of nines, it's also unfortunate. Uh, we do face a jam here. Not thrilled about it. And yeah, they do show us a set. So next time we have queens. Uh, player two, who is under the gun, decides to limp. Player three isos. Against these stack sizes, queens is a mandatory get it in. I do look to three bet 
get it in here. And um, honestly, pretty happy about the spot. I mean, they're, they're not even 100 bigs. Like, getting in queens here, less than 100 bigs is pretty standard. Player 2 does something weird here. Limp cold calls the, uh, th the cold 3 bet. And player 3 flats behind. Um, so, here I had an interesting spot. I mean, their range is going to have a lot of ace-x. SPR is basically 1 to 1 here versus these stacks. So, I thought I might check here and induce... Some bluffs. I mean, betting here seems good as well. Turn 10 of spades is not amazing. Uh, Jack King gets there. Should only have the four suited combos. And uh, now a set of 10s if they, if any of these players have it. So I'm pretty happy here. I decide to flat. Uh, I think maybe getting it in here seems okay as well. And player two does bet the turn and bet the river. I've got a set of queens. I'm value jamming here for the extra 23. They show us Jack King, they show us Jack King. I don't expect them to have aces, but they do show us aces with the limp. This next hand was interesting. I was actually rebuying and trying to fold and I misclick call. I don't really like defending Jack King off versus a three bet. And so now I've got myself in a really dirty spot. I flop top pair in a spot that I don't want to be in and player one pots the flop and essentially pot jams the turn. I can't fold King Jack here. And if we do go turn the bluff, but we don't hold. And then this next hand, we have Kings facing a limp. Uh, this was pretty triggering spot. Um, so I literally just ran Queens into Aces twice, like back to back, and this hand happens. So I've ISO'd, and um, I get a cold call from a really short stack on the button, and player six comes in for the uh, three bet squeeze, I guess if we can call it that. And uh, pretty happy to get kings in here. I expect player six to be three bet squeezing here uh, with a decent range that wants to get it in against player five. Um, so I'm just happy to get it in here and player five calls, obviously not worried about them. Player six goes in the tank. I'm really happy about kings now because I'm begging for a call. I'm hoping they have like tens or jacks, but no, they slow roll with me with aces, which was really tilting, particularly because I just had the queens versus aces twice before that. So, although we did have a bad string of hands, uh, we did run somewhat decent towards the end of day 21. Uh, an example of this was this hand. Literally a nothing flop. I go for a one-third bet. And player six defends to the one-third. The turn's not great for my range, so I decide to check and just realize my equity. And the river runs out of four cards straight. Villain checks again. At this point, I'm not expecting much to call me. I mean, I could probably even size my river bet down. Probably should have gone one third based on this player's range. I think this is a bit too large. Player six then does the best thing that could ever happen, raise me here. And uh, I expect player six to raise fold here at a decent amount. Um, just because like I don't really have any bluffs and player six actually gets flush over flush pretty unfortunate for them All right, since this has been a slightly longer video I have only got one punt of the day and it is the ace eight of clubs I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this play I do know player five is a recreational player due uh, based on their three bet sizing and not a great flop size either. I mean, half pot seems okay. I mean, I go for the punish um, and raise. I have a decent amount of sets of eights, sets of tens, queen ten suited, ten eight suited. Turn is actually really bad, but I do just go for the bluff and uh, unfortunately get called off.